Okay, welcome to the second video. Um, this one's to do batch uploads into the gallery, media gallery area, as well as how to set up a media gallery folder, um, or gallery as they call it. Well, the first thing we got is photographs are too big. This one is uh, just a random folder on my hard drive. As you can see, Looking at the photos, the 2.5, 3 megabytes, 2.4, 2.6, 2.79, they're, they're all over 2 megabytes. There's one at 4 megabytes. These are huge for the, the forum, the forum doesn't like them. So what I do is I create a new folder. Um, what I normally call them is resized. I've got lots of these on the drive. The reason is I like to keep the original uh, photo is a large scale one because I crop it and do other things with it um, which when you make this the photo small it, you can't do because of the reduction but we're not worried about that for the forum so what I do is I create a resize folder which is this one now as you can see it's empty this is the location of the drive uh, the photographs I take pix resizer is asking me where to get the photos from so I know it's on my spare drive so first thing to do is my computer it's on my terabyte find the folder which is computer crash and it's inside DCIM and it's 100 Canon so it's, it's now taking all the photographs in there not, the, not these ones the ones that are below um, which in this case is probably a couple of hundred photographs at least. So what we do now is tell it the destination. It's in the same location so it's my computer, terabyte, computer crash, DCIM, 100 and resized. So it now knows what we want and we only want small images. You can make these you can adjust the size of the photographs here, but we only actually want small images in the first place. So, put that back to 600. Okay. And just save the pictures. You get this little bar here. Oh, it's not a couple of hundred, 631 photographs all random because the, um, this was after a computer crash so everything was thrown into several folders so I could take it off the drive so you just sit and wait for it while it's doing that we're going to set up our gallery now first thing you need is to go into the media gallery Now that's loaded, you'll see a lot of photographs. Um, these ones are still, I've still got to put more descriptions on them. But we're not after those, we're after the albums because we're going to create a new one with the new photographs. So we go to My Albums, it's a little bit slow loading. Let's take that off. As you can see, I've already got plenty of folders. I've already started, um, but we we want a new album. These are new photographs. Um, we're going to do photos about um, Mingonelia Church at Christmas, uh, or Christmas trees in Mingonelia, something like that. So we go here. This is the button you want. New album. So we're going to call it Christmas trees in Mingle and 2011. And put your name in here. You can put your fake name or your real name, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not a featured album. A description, um, which for this is photos of 
of Christmas trees during the festivities of 2011 Christmas period with Christmas with a Christmas tree competition. So I'm getting distracted with all the noise outside. I can. Well, the thing is, you can either keep it as a little folder or you can add a photo to it to make it a bit more interesting. Now, what I generally do is take one of the photos we're actually using. Um, so we're in Computer Crash, DCIM, resized. Go to thumbnail so you can see the images. I'm not actually after the family stuff because I'm not uploading those. Uh, I'm just doing it as an example to show how much you can transfer in one go. Christmas trees are in here somewhere. And I guess it hasn't got to the trees yet. Ninety-two. Where's the Christmas trees? Yeah, the Christmas trees are here. They're in the middle, so... Quick refresh. And here we go. So I find it, I'll find a nice picture of a Christmas tree just for the next a sample. Uh, let's take this one. So, we now save that. Don't bother about any of this stuff. This is already preset by the admins in the first place. It's, we've already gone through that headache of setting all that up. See what you got now is it's uploading that photograph um, because it's going to make it a, a folder cover for the the album. So it'll take 10 seconds or whatever to get the photo onto the drive. There you go. That's now your album cover. The Christmas trees in Mingonelia 2011. See, so it comes up with it. This is your title that you created, and this is the photos of. This is the basic description we put in. But now we want to upload photographs. We go for a mass upload. Now what you want to do is ignore the sort order, um, just go for select files. Now it's going to, it's took me back to the other folder, uh, so I need to go back to where we put the new new files, uh, which was in Computer Crash, DCIM, resized. So, but the important thing is here, look at this file size, 29.1 kilobytes. 52. They're all tiny. They, since you reduce the sizes, the files are a lot smaller, which means when you upload them, it's going to be be done rather quickly. So we're going to upload multiple files. So what you're going to do is hold down the control key on your keypad. Then just click the ones you want. See, I want this one. Some of these are very similar, so I don't bother with them. So I want that one, want that one, but I don't want this don't want that one, I want that one take that one, that one, that one that one, that one and we just load up the photographs okay so that's the photos, we've got the ones we want press open now it lists them all here. It hasn't uploaded them, it hasn't done anything with them yet. But as you can see, the sizes are 43 kilobytes in general. You know, they're, they're all in the 40s, smallest being 35, 33 here. But the point is, these are a fraction of the original size, which was 2000 plus. This makes life easier for you as well as the server 
because with the big files it will often time out there's photograph limits where if the file is too big it won't let you upload it anyway but with small files you can upload all these rather quickly if you just click upload now it's got the first one, it's highlighted as white it's got a little clock on it now which is showing you that it's actually working on it and it's uploaded you can see it's moving here current file progress is 100% total progress 10% it's going through, it's still doing stuff in the background here there you go, it's now identified what the photo is um, it's, it's, it's created a little tab for you to input the information this is Mingling Nearly a Church, I've got two photos the same here so I'm going to have to delete one but Mingling Nearly a Church and the description Mingling Nearly a Church, Christmas 2011 I'll put the same on this one but I'm going to delete that one in a minute just copy, paste, and just copy, paste, copy, paste. And you just have to wait for it to upload the photos. <coughs> Shouldn't take too long because of the, the file size is being reduced. But the whole point is this is fairly automatic and you just edit each photo as it uploads. What I normally try to do is I'll start this off, then I go back to do something else for five minutes to let it upload everything on its own. So on here, you know how to get Pix Resizer. Uh, if you go to Pix this website or just Google search Pix Resizer, it'll actually take you to the site itself. I shouldn't really be accessing the drive while it's uh, accessing the internet while it's trying to upload at the same time. But this is it here, Pix Resizer. Just click on it and it'll take you back to the page we were just on. This is very handy for reducing um, space on a hard drive, for example, because uh, I know a lot of people have got older machines that had Vista on them which takes up a lot of hard drive space but then the people like Toshiba split the drive in half and then you find that you struggle to get everything onto the drive um, because you've got a D drive which is empty virtually and the C drive is full of Vista um, the only way around that is to actually low level format the hard drive and separate, that's another thing but the point is for reducing photos it comes in very handy getting back on topic it's all done as you can see because we're uploading already in the background and it's done everything we wanted uh, now we've done that we don't actually need Pix Resizer it's finished it's now done the mass upload it's got five left to do so I'm going to quickly fill these in just so that we've got something to work with copy V Control A picks up, picks up the text. Control V drops it back down again. So we're mingling the church. Oh, sorry. Control Control A. Control A on that. Then Control C to copy it. Control V to put it back down. Um, burger Burger van. I'm gonna need it. Burger van. So I'm just going to quickly run down these just so we can move forward. Yeah, control A is all, by the way. Control A is all, Control C is copy, Control V pastes. If you don't know your keys. So. And control X actually cuts. Well, these are all part of a Christmas tree competition in Mingle and Ilia. Um, I don't know much about it because there was just a little bit of paper stuck to the side of a building that says it was a um, competition. That's all I know. Um, 
I do know one of the organizers, but he didn't tell me much about what they were actually doing or what the prizes were or was it schools. But anyway, it was Christmas trees. Um, a lot of people in Minglenio did actually like these photos uh, because I'm part of a Minglenio group. The, a lot of the OFWs like to, to see the, the church. Anyway, so we submit that. The photos are already uploaded, so it's, it's just going through a, a little bit of processing to put your descriptions with the photos and just edit it a little bit. And as you can see, you've now got Christmas Trees in Mingan, 2011 album with all the photos. It's as simple as that. So if I go back to albums now, it's a little bit slow loading. But not a lot we can do that, do with that. I've got at least five computers on this network. As you can see, a lot of the other photos have already got album covers and the Christmas trees is now the, the latest one in mine. So, but as simple as that, other owners have got theirs going up. So we're, it is getting there and I hope this video is useful. Okay, thanks for your time.